It's time to dive into this show right now with my man Lori Markkinen. Y'all know who he is. Utah Jazz's all-star forward. Lori Markkinen plans to partake, listen to this, in mandatory military service in Finland during the offseason. Y'all heard me. Ah, he said following the military requirement that they have, his intention is to complete it. It's mandatory, quote, we have to do it, but at the same time, we take pride in it, too. Caught that part? I think it sets an example to serve, and I'm confident I could do it in a way that's not going to affect my preparation for next season either. Now, every male citizen of Finland is required to complete military service by the age of 30. Marketing trying to get it in quick, trying to get some extra credit, I guess, because he's only 25. Woo! Now, this is interesting right here because I can hear y'all right now singing your Bruce Springsteen. Y'all, y'all gotta love <laughs> USA. That is not a mandatory requirement in America. So to me, that is our great fortune. But I respect what he said. Not only is he going to do it, but he's going to do it with pride. But if you want to ask me, oh, I'm hitting you with the Rick Ross. I'm hitting you with the Lil Wayne. No, sir, not me. Y'all forget that my name, Marcellus, is the middle name of Cassius Marcellus Clay. Yeah, Muhammad Ali. I hate to say it, y'all. But there's nothing more terrifying to me outside of prison, not jail. Like, I've been to jail before. Like, you know, the holding tank. Who had not been to jail before? Who ain't got a parking ticket? Like, no, I thought I paid it. Um, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about prison. Like, they like, dog, stop looking at your watch. Stop looking at the calendar. You're going to be here for a minute. Prison is terrifying, but nothing's worse than just the thought of war. Now, let me back up a step. This is Finland we're talking about. And I had to look it up, and guess what I saw? Not a single enemy in the world. <laughs> Not one nuke is pointed at Finland. The people of Finland even were saying, the worst thing about being here is our six month long winter <laughs> and then our one month long summer. And that's it. No enemies in sight. But it's interesting because they have this sports complex out there that's merged with the military that allows people to actually serve actively while still pursuing their profession kind of smart right here. So marketing will report to the Defense Forces Sports School. Now you got me enlisted. Like if, <laughs> if they say hey, you're going to the Army and it drill sergeant looking at me like, Wiley, get up. Uh, dog, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Do, do what you got to do to me. I don't care how many push-ups. I do two million push-ups. I ain't going out there with them bullets alive. But if I have to go to the Defense Forces Sports School, you got somebody right here. Now, marketing even said, of course, I'd rather be working out like I normally do in the off season, but I heard they do a good job of combining the two. You're able to do your job working as an athlete and your basic training. You know me, I'm asking y'all, what would y'all do? Like, seriously, not, not Finland, because in Finland, they don't have any enemies. So yeah, sign me up. I'll go all day. I ain't got nobody to fight. But in America, and you know right now, Woo, this world is tripping on America. They're trying to get rid of the U.S. dollar everywhere, the currency exchange. Woo, so we're going to have some nukes pointed back at us. What would you do? Obviously, it's, a, it's an honor to serve your country, but I think it's a greater honor what others serve for you, right? <laughs> That's how I think about it. I hate to be so selfish, y'all, but boy, I am shook when you start talking about them live bullets. 